Hello and welcome to another vlog. It's been a minute. We are getting ready for bed and I thought I would apply my self tanner for overnight because this is not like an express tan like I normally use. So I've seen everyone talking about this. So I finally bought it. Um, it's time. Self tanner review. And I was going to put it on and I'm like, I should show them because I am completely in love with the Saint Tropez, the express tan that you can leave it on for up to three hours, then rinse it off, then it develops. And it's just like so easy. But I recently just ran out. So when I was in the market for a new self tanner, I'm like, I want to try something different. I've tried loving tan, which is good. But like, I feel like lately all the hype it's around Bondi Sands. I will say the price point is awesome. It's definitely like a lot more um, affordable than other ones. So it's actually like a really big tube as well. I can't remember how much this was. I'll put it on the screen. Um, it's supposed to smell like coconut. We love that. I got it in dark. Oh, and I also got this. But look how cool this is. To be totally honest, uh, Yar usually does my back when I self tan. Uh, but this was just so cool. This is a self tanning back applicator. <laughs> Also from Bondi Sands. <gasps> Whoa. Well, that's pretty fire. And it's got, uh, oh, two different <laughs> applicators. One's spongy. This one feels like a tanning mitt. <gasps> this, and it even comes with replacements. Amazing. This is so cool. All right. Time to review. All right. We got my old Loving Tan tanning mitt. I'm also, like, nervous because I really do prefer, like, the self tanner I can rinse off after a couple hours. Like I don't love sleeping overnight in self tanner, but like you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so I wanna go ahead and test like the immediate color payoff and also the scent. Oh, pretty nice. So right off the bat, it's a really nice olivey color and it really does like smell. It smells so good. So first impressions wise, I'm liking it. Let me just like apply this, I'll be back. Also, put lotions on your ankles, your knees, your wrists, your hands, and thank me later. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my self tanner everywhere except for my back and my face. <laughs> I am gonna try this. I mean, guys, it's honestly <laughs> hard to do, but like genius. <laughs> like it's gonna take me a minute to figure out how to maneuver it properly, but great invention. Good morning. So I just took a shower. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. <laughs> like, it's such a pretty color. It still looks very natural. And on my face, I did do my usual um, Tan Lux face drops, just to kinda give me a little tan on the face. But overall, I think this is so beautiful and it smells really good. And I did have to go over a couple spots, like, you know when you like splash water on your tan right after and it like leaves a watermark and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta fix this. And I had to go over it with like my uh, tanning mitt and I thought maybe it would get like chunky in those areas and it didn't. Like it's a very well blended out tan. That makes me really happy. I get the hype, I get the hype. It's such a pretty color, it's so pretty, oh yay. All right, cool, I would recommend. <laughs> All right, don't mind my hair. I have been letting it air dry all morning. It is almost one o'clock. We had breakfast kind of late. Um, I ended up making these amazing air fried donuts um, made with the Greek yogurt pizza dough that I normally do, just Greek yogurt and self-rising flour. And I added a little vanilla, a little cinnamon, a tiny bit of Truvia and shaped the dough into donuts and air fried them. <laughs> I just Googled air fryer donuts. Um, they were really good. <laughs> so I should have showed them maybe in like an Instagram. I've been doing more cooking on my Instagram. So check that out for like quick little recipes and whatnot. Um, I just drank a new flavor that I have not tried yet of the Alani New. This is Blue Slush. It was very good. I also recently started using the pre-workout because I have never used like real pre-workout, like drinking an energy drink from them versus like actually pre-workout. I've heard theirs is really good because some people I know get like, I've heard tingles or headaches and everyone said the Alani new one was really good and I used it for the first time yesterday before my workout. 
and I didn't get any side effects just like good energy but I think I'm gonna style my hair in a little while I got it done last week my blonde is looking fresh I'm still loving the dark root so I kept that we just did some balayage you might hear people we are currently getting our treadmill set up in our gym i'm very excited i'll show you guys when they leave yarman is downstairs with them right now super excited um as you guys know yar is a runner so it's nice for him to be able to run when the weather's not great or whatever which is so cool. It's actually like rainy today too, so I'm pretty excited to like take a nice walk on the treadmill later. First, I'm gonna whip us up some lunch. Huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the vlog today. We're making something new that I've never made and I'm pretty hyped because y'all know I love hot sauce. I love Frank's. This is Frank's Red Hot Firehouse Cheeseburgers. So as you guys know with HelloFresh, Everything comes in these little bags with everything that you need pre-portioned. So because they give you just the amount of food that you need, there is a lot less food waste. Like look how cute, even just this little amount of <laughs> Frank's Red Hot seasoning there is. Garlic powder, crispy onions, cheese, ranch. We're gonna make some baked potato wedges. This recipe looks so simple, like I love this. So literally, I just went ahead and wedged up our potatoes. So I'm just going to put them on a baking sheet. I have the oven preheated to 450. And HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know like you're always gonna get something good. Yara and I are literally always shook. <laughs> I'm just doing some salt, pepper, olive oil. I like to kind of rub everything together, make sure it's all on evenly. And I'm going to add half of the garlic powder that they gave me. And I love this because, you know, I love cooking. And some nights, if I haven't had time to plan and prep, it's so nice just to be able to have these HelloFresh meals ready to go. I'm going to pop these in the oven. Literally, each meal takes around 30 minutes to make. And they also have quick and easy options, which can take only around 20 minutes. So it just makes life so much easier. Now we're just cooking up the burgers that have been seasoned with the Franks. And one thing that I love, love, love about HelloFresh is how I can really easily change my delivery days or my food preferences. I can skip a week whenever I need to. And something I always love to share with you guys about HelloFresh that I love is in 2020, they donated over 4 million meals to charity and they're stepping up their food donations even more this year, continuing among the coronavirus crisis. So I really respect that. Mixing up this sauce. This is going to be so good, guys. HelloFresh always has the best sauce so this is sour cream ranch dressing garlic powder salt and pepper all right y'all we got our bun nice and grilled so we're gonna go ahead and add our sauce looks absolutely delicious add the crispy little onion strings yum i mean there's just nothing better than a crispy edge of like a burger bun. And look at our potato wedges. Oh, delish. You guys can go to hellofresh.com and use my code fearless12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. All right, mm. I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch and do my hair. I'll meet you guys when we're doing our hair. All right, I'm just gonna throw on some lip balm had my lunch and I'm just gonna style my hair. My curls last for usually like four or five days. And then I'll wash my hair and start again. So I'm gonna show you guys my current little hair routine. So we're gonna start with this Better Not Younger No Remorse Heat um, Protectant. And I like to focus mine on my front like blonde pieces because that's where I'm the blondest and where I have the most breakage. I do use like a multitasking spray when I get out of the shower as well to help detangle and like I mean, it helps with shine and it helps with heat protectant and all that. I'm currently using the one from Pantene because I ran out of my Pureology and it's really good. So I'm trying to be more gentle with my front pieces since I just, you know, kind of brightened up my blonde a bit. You know, regardless of the breakage, like I feel like I've got some pretty like decent shine right now. For the last couple of weeks, I've been reviewing and like testing the Pantene new Miracle Collection as like a more affordable option for like damaged hair and honestly it's really good 
Like I was kind of shook. It just feels so shiny and healthy like immediately. So I mean, I guess I have two layers of heat protectant in now because I used that spray last night. Um, I love the color of this blonde right now. Like they did such a great job. They always do. Um, this is the curling wand I've been using. It's from Lange. It only has one heat setting, but it works perfectly to me. So these are just like my usual. Actually, I will say I've been doing it kind of different lately. Typically with my uh, wand, I'll kind of work to flatten the hair as it lays. Like this is how I would normally do it, right? And I let it go. I like to hold it for a second to help the curl hold its shape. Um, but lately, this is how a lot of people do it for more of like a wavy look. So they kind of carelessly wrap it. Like it twists as it goes. Like you're not working to lay it flat. Like you just twirl it and the hair is kind of spun around it rather than laying flat, like I said. I am hope I'm explaining that well because it gives more of a wavy effect, you know? See how this is like a uniform curl and this one has more of like bend? So lately I've been doing that again. You could do a mixture of both. I like to leave some out on the bottom. Um, and I do like to curl them all the way from my face because I think they like wear really well that way. I feel like they hold better that way. And then they kind of just settle and drop over a few days. Like they'll slowly just become more of a wave. <laughs> so that's the way I like to do it to get the most out of my curls. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know like one of the biggest rules is to let your curls set. Let them cool completely before you like spray them or run your fingers through them. Um, just kind of leave them alone for a bit. And I promise you that will help them last so much longer. And as I had done the first time, I'll show you guys again, when I kind of just like hold the curl in my hand to let it cool for like a second. These are all these little hacks just to help your curls last a little longer. So I just put it right up in my hand, <laughs> keeping it in its little shape, holding it, holding it, holding it and then release it. And it really, really makes a big difference. You guys, honestly, this tan is so good. Like it is not splotchy or anything. It's so good. Such a good little curl. And they look so pretty when you like brush them out with your fingers. So yeah, this is my current hair routine. I'll show you guys the products I use after. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and like finish my hair. Like this is exactly what I do on each side. I will link this hair tool and everything that I use below. Be right back. You're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> You're watching YouTube.com. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my hair and I'm gonna let my curls um, just cool. This side's cool, but I'm gonna let this side cool and then we'll brush them out later. Just for like 10 minutes, so I thought I would just open some jewelry with you guys, since I'm gonna do it anyway. I might as well put it in the vlog. Um, I got some new pieces, ooh, I got some new pieces from my favorite Miranda Fry. Um, I talk about Miranda Fry all the time, they're my obsession. Um, this necklace is from them, this is the Reese charm. This necklace is from them, they have a bunch of different chains um, and different lengths. I like the 21 to 23 ones, they're like perfect for like a thick neck like me. <laughs> um, they have a bunch of those. This is the bracelet I wear every day from them. This is the Fashion Jackson. It's fat wrist friendly. It's so cute. Um, if you ever want anything from them, my discount code is fearless. So I have a couple other bracelets from them as well. This one is called the Lincoln. I love this. Like it's so, so stunning. Let me cut off the tag. Um, how are we all doing by the way? How's everyone feeling? How's everyone's mental health? Just doing a check-in. Um, thankfully we're moving out of winter. I'm ready for spring. Feeling good. Uh, I'm gonna put this bracelet on. I love layering pieces from Rand Fry. The bracelets. You guys, I've been trying to get this on for like five minutes and I cannot get it on. I'm gonna need Yerman to help me. Um, <laughs> It definitely fits once I can have him help me get this on. But um, I love, like I said, layering their bracelets, their necklaces. I think this is such a gorgeous combo. Um, all of their jewelry is gold filled. So it's like a really good alternative to like getting, you know, expensive gold jewelry. Um, like I wear this in the shower, in the pool. Like you can just take good care of these pieces and they won't tarnish. But like, honestly, a lot of these pieces I've had um, for so long and I like never took them off and they still look amazing. Uh, 
It's good stuff. And it's not nearly as expensive as getting like real gold jewelry. And it's just great quality. Okay, so I actually don't think I've ever had Miranda Fry rings. Um, I may have and I'm losing it, but I don't think I have. But they had a few that were adjustable that were so cute. Like this is so cute. So this is the Kennedy ring. And as you can see, it is adjustable. Love that. And this is like one of my thickest, actually this is probably my thickest finger. So, and it looks so cute. It's like these little kind of gold chain links. I, oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. Um, and then I got this one, which is called the Eternity Ring. Look at this heart. Whoa, whoa. And like, these are actually pretty comfortable for adjustable rings. Like it feels good. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look from the front, you know, that it's an adjustable ring. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I don't know, like sometimes just having a bunch of rings on just makes you feel so good. <laughs> like there's just something about it. You're just like, ooh. Okay, stunning rings, I swoon. Oh, we've got some hoops. We've got some like Khloe Kardashian level hoops here and I'm all in, I'm all in, I'm here for it. Oh yes. Okay, but like so good. I love my hair in like a sleek ponytail, like sleek in the front, like big messy curls in the ponytail and then like some big hoops. Ooh, these are gorgeous. So if you're wondering, these are called the Selena hoops. I like the little kind of braided texture because I am on like a hoop kick. Um, these are the Frida hoops. I love them. They're kind of like a tube shape and they're just like the perfect medium size. This is the kind of earring I'll reach for on most days. I have this other pair that I got from Piercing Pagoda, but they're a lot smaller. It's kind of like a small, medium, large. These are the Frida and these are the um, Piercing Pagoda ones. And I wear these a lot. So I'm excited to have uh, like a more medium size option. So I think our hair is like probably ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take some whey hair oil um, in my hands. Really rub it in there because I'm not trying to like saturate my hair too much, but I like to kind of like oil up my hands while I'm running my fingers through because it adds the shine um, and it just like evenly distributes it. So I like to just run my fingers through and since I have the oil on there, like it adds like such a pretty, oh, like look at that, like just such a pretty shine. Uh, just don't get it like towards your roots. I just pretty much brush out the midway to the ends. And like, it's just got, oh, so much shine. I just take a tiny bit more for this side. And this is just gonna soften them to more of a bouncy wave than a curl. And the last step is gonna be hairspray. I use the Dry Bar Moneymaker Flexible Hold Hairspray. This has been the go-to lately. I adore this hairspray. Ooh, it definitely, gives me the perfect amount of hold, but it never gets crunchy or like hard. It's very flexible, <laughs> like it's called. So that's my current hair routine. It's a little different from how I typically do it, but the curls, like I said, they last so long, it's amazing. This chain one is gonna be in my everyday, <laughs> my everyday vibe, I don't know. I just felt like playing with my hair. I'm not putting on makeup today. I'm not going anywhere, but. I'm telling you guys, look at the Pantene giving me that shine. I'm shook. Too funny. I am literally importing this footage right now um, <laughs> before we go to bed. I'm in the same spot that I was several hours ago. So like I said, we're going to head to bed soon. It's a little after nine. And I think we're going to watch another episode. We just started a new show tonight. I love Queen Latifah. I think my two favorite actresses of all time are Queen Latifah and Reese Witherspoon. Like love Queen Latifah so much. Um, and her new show called The Equalizer is out right now um, on CBS. So we just watched the first episode and oh my God, so good. If you like love girl power, bad bitch energy, that show, mm, the first episode I was like, Oh yes, we loved it. So I'm gonna go watch another one with Yar and then we're gonna go to bed. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in another video very soon.